hello beautiful people welcome back to my page life with arike for today's recipe i'm going to be sharing another delicious fish recipe with you guys and it's going to be a very delicious one and this is going to be a oven bake uh, fish recipe with some spicy stew that goes along with together with it and i'm going to be having it with some uh, fried plantain with some sweet potato with a lot of vegetables i hope you're going to save this recipe for later because you know what christmas is around the corner new year is around the corner and you definitely want to share this delicious recipe with your family so stay tuned let's share this recipe together and you're gonna love it and i promise you will definitely enjoy this recipe so if you are watching me for the first time don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel life with arike because this one is going to be very delicious one that you want to put on the table for your family during this holiday season so let's get it started so for today's recipe i'm going to give a big shout out to one of my followers on uh, youtube cooking with ifia she's a very wonderful followers of mine thank you for always loving my videos thank you for always leaving a positive comment on my video and i'm very happy you really enjoy most of my uh, videos thank you for your love thank you for your support and i really appreciate that so let me know where you are watching me from so that next time uh, in my videos i can send you some hug and i can give you a shout out so let's go back to our uh, fish recipe so right now i'm trying to wash my uh, fish with some lemon you can use lime you can use lemon depends on whichever one you have at all so uh, I clean my fish thoroughly both inside and outside with um, uh, lime then after that I'm just gonna go ahead and try to uh, uh, uh dry my fish so this is um, that is what i'm doing right now i try to use uh, the kitchen um uh, paper towel to uh, thoroughly dry the excess water on my fish so before we started and go ahead to add all our um seasoning so um the fish are uh, ready right now i'm just gonna drizzle some cooking oil on the fish then after that i had some cooking um salt on my fish i'm gonna be using some onion powder then after that i'm gonna be using some um all-purpose seasoning powder this is a salt free seasoning because don't forget we already had some salt then i'm gonna be adding garlic and parsley uh flakes powder with some goya seasoning powder um i try not to add too much salt to the fish because don't forget i'm still gonna make some um spicy stew that will go along together with the fish so i try to be careful when i'm adding my salt so i give it a good rub and rub everything together so that the seasoning will sit on the uh, fish to let it marinate for about um 30 to 40 minutes i transferred everything into my ziploc bag so next i'm going to start working on my um spicy stew so um first of all i started with my uh, cooking oil i'm going to be using some leftover cooking oil that is why you see the color um changing a little bit i had it on my chopped onion with some um um green onion onion the scallion then i had it on my blended pepper mix which is the combination of dry chili pepper with some garlic ginger and some honey all blended together like a chopped form so i had my maggie cube a little bit of salt all purple seasoning powder thyme and with some chicken bouillon you can use any flavor you uh, you choose also i also had some curry powder with some um, chopped bell peppers with some rosemary with additional chopped um, green honey or the scallion don't forget i will leave everything on the caption for you to follow so i went ahead and had um all my uh steel onto my fish so that they're gonna be well marinated well coated on the fish so i i added everything uh give it a good scrub and let it sit for about five minutes then next i'm gonna transfer it into the, my oven I'm going to be baking this for 20 minutes for the first uh, side for about um, um, 350 Fahrenheit on the first side. Then after that, I flip it over for another 20 minutes again. And this is how the fish 
came out you know they look so delicious and this is what you are expecting your fish to look like or you leave it in the oven until they are fully cooked uh, with the steel so the fish is finally ready i'm going to set it aside and i'm going to be showing you how i achieved my sweet potato this is going to be a quick video i will uh, make a food video of this next time so i chopped my sweet potato add some salt for taste with some um, spices uh, with a little bit of seasoning with um, a little bit of cooking oil everything well marinate coated together then after that i added my uh, beef that i've already uh, you know fried uh, earlier i cut them in the chunks i have some uh, beef uh, broth with additional rosemary with some butter and after that i'm going to keep it covered and bake in the oven uh, for about uh, one hour all together or until they are fully cooked then i had some extra vegetable my broccoli with some um, grape tomato it is optional you don't have to but you know i just love grape tomatoes for some reason uh, when i'm cooking in my food so add your vegetable uh any of your choice then you know let it bake put it back in the oven for another a uh, couple of uh minutes then you know until they are fully cooked and everything is ready and you see how delicious they look and after that i'm gonna be serving my food i make some um uh, fried plantain together that goes along with this recipe so thank you for watching if you really enjoyed this video and if you are watching this video to this uh, stay that means you really enjoy um the recipe so don't forget to give some thumbs uh thumbs up like share leave a comment to know that uh you really love what you are watching and just to show some support and you can see my voice is a little bit cracked today because i'm uh, it's the time for the flu season, but I still took my time to make you guys happy with this video. So the only thing you can sh do to show some love is by uh, liking this video, leave your comment and share. And thank you. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you. Bye.